Hello everyone and welcome. I heard you guys want to learn stuff. How do you start a tutorial video? I don't know. I don't usually do this kind of stuff. My name is Asparagus and welcome everyone. I have been requested a lot. How do I get to play custom maps? So we're going to start out by just what is the most easy thing to do, which is download a custom made map and put it on the escapist for it to work in the game. After that, I'm going to launch the unofficial map editor and we're going to you know, just check it a little bit. I don't have too much experience on that myself, just a little bit here and there. The first thing you want to do to play a custom map is, and you should really do this, close the escapist. That would be a good idea. Every single page I will open here, I will put it on the description of the video so that you can quickly access it. This is where I first learned about the unofficial map editor. It is posted on Reddit. If you just want to play custom made prisons and do not care any how about the unofficial map editor itself to create more prisons. This is what you need to do. Going to this link over here, maps listing at game steam forums. This is where the unofficial map editor creator is working with team 17 in order to make these maps available for everyone to play. Now you should take in consideration that these maps, some of them have glitches, some of them have bugs, some of them cannot even be escaped yet because of some bugs. So these are somewhat verified maps. People can post their custom made prisons over here, people can comment on them, people can play them and whatnot. So if you open one of them, in this case I chose Alpha Complex over here. If I want to play this, I will click this download link over here. There is this limitation on the escapists, it's a game limitation in which you cannot add more and more maps. That cannot be possible. What you can do is replace a map that is already on the prison, an official one, and change the layout within it. In my case, it's in local disk D, games, Steam. From this point on out, it should be always the same for everyone. You want to go to Steam Apps, Common, you want to find the escapists around here, the escapists, there we go, Data, Maps, and here are all the official created maps, and in the custom folder, all the custom, supposedly all the custom made maps. Every single time we want to play a custom made map, we need to replace one of the official maps. Personally, what I'm doing is I'm always replacing the Fort Bamford map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a backup copy to my desktop. There we go. So if I ever want to get back to, you know, the official, complete official version of the escapist with all the official maps, I just have to copy this one back to this Steam folder again. What we're going to do right now is copy this custom made file over here, copy it. What you want to do is delete the previous map named Fort Bamford over here. So that's what we're gonna do. Either that, or if you had it already named Fort Bamford, which it's not always the case, okay? In all of these maps, some of them, when you download them, let's see, Camp Sunshine might have a different name. So when I download it, there we go, we have it. Let's extract what's inside. And if you open the folder, it says jungle.map. And imagine that I want to play this map over here, which is Camp Sunshine. What you want to do right now is name that map. So I'm going to name this map with this name. Yes, we're going to change the, the type of the file. Copy over here and replace it. After this, the only thing you need to do is launch the escapists. And we're going to choose the map from, let's choose a new game, continue, from the custom uh, maps tab, and we're gonna choose Fort Bamford. Your new map name never shows up over here. It always is named as Fort Bamford because that's the file we have replaced. So let's choose Fort Bamford, continue. Uh, here are the prisons you have to name, and let's go within it. And you'll see that this is not Fort Bamford. So this is the Camp Sunshine custom-made map. Now, for the guys that want to create their own maps, you want to click on Windows Binary for the executable. This is not a program that you install. This is just an executable that you simply run from your desktop or any other folder. If you want to know more in depth how to work with it, you should try this tutorial link over here that will bring you to this video from the creator of this map editor. And you will explain all sorts of stuff, how to create uh, prisons in this editor and whatnot. You want to download it, 
if you click over here. And this will download this file over here, Escapist Editor. Let's run it. There you go. Before I forget, this is created by G Selby. All right. This is the guy that created this and made this possible, which is pretty awesome. So as I've told you before, you cannot create a prison from the scratch. You got to always, always load a map that is previously created an official one. File, load, and you want to load one of these maps over here. These are the ones I have installed. For instance, let's say that I want my map to be based on San Pancho. I'm going to load it and go. Now the map editor just loaded the full map. And as you can see here, there's a lot of info in the editor. There's actually no coding involved, by the way, which makes it so much more easy and entertaining to accomplish. As you can see, there is a lot of signals in the map. For instance, this over here, this tile over here is... How can I zoom in? There we go. Let's just zoom in a little bit. This is where you always start. This is your bed start. And you can see the mine sign, which is over here. And all these numbers, they always, always define what is that place all about. So we can, for instance, delete an object. Let's delete some of them. Don't seem to be deletable. There you go. I'm deleting stuff. And this is what you want to do if you want to play them or create a map from the scratch. You want to delete every single thing on the map. I'm not sure why some stuff isn't being deleted. But again, I am not... An expert you can set different types of tile over here have no idea what are the pink tiles for let's see what is this I don't even know what this is oh a, a tree yeah a tree um, a, a pine tree on San Pancho with sand makes perfect sense yeah this puts a lot more forests in the present there we go by the way before I forget you want to save this into something that is not the official map that we just loaded so that we don't lose that official map so i'm gonna put it on desktop and sparrow dot map edit zones so deliveries tailor job the canteen you can define all the areas in the prison which is pretty cool all of this without coding which is amazing we can also create objects and put them in the map like let's say a jeep this should be the patrol path of the jeep. I'm not sure if this is how you make it. It should be a jeep over here. Oh, there we go. There is one of the coordinates of the jeep. There is another one. So you don't actually need to do all of this. You just need to define the path points, like the checkpoints. Let's put a simple bed outside. Why not? Look at that. Lots of beds for the guards when they are patrolling the place so that you can have a short moment of rest. Heavens! can make them cook outside as well you want to come here and change the layer that you are editing so we're gonna to change to underground as you can see this is how San Pancho rolls underground you have an electric fence all around you also have the roof with the generator and whatnot yeah let's load that one and I want to show you also the vent system there we go this is how how you define the vent system all the grates, all the doors, all the ladders and whatnot. If you come here to the properties, you can define a lot of things in the map that you're creating. So for instance, you want to put the metal shop job enabled or not. If you have it on the map, obviously, you can define what jobs you have in that map. You can define with which job does the player start with, the number of guards that you're going to have and the number of prisoners. And this is the NPC level. I'm not sure if this messes up with the AI or if you're talking about uh, stats. We're probably talking about stats. You can give it a name yourself, even though this will not really change anything because it will always be named the map that you're going to replace. And down here, there is some other info that you can include. I absolutely encourage you to check this forum over here and play some of these custom maps give them a rating come back to the forums and say it is good it is bad what needs to be done what what would make it more fun and whatnot now if i want to play this one it's the same drill all over again i'm going to copy it here i'm going to copy this full name i'm going to delete it and this is what you want to do before putting it on the steam forums by the way you want to test out your own map before you put it out there there you go i named it fort bamford now if you go to the game supposedly you will be able to play that map just fine 
Let's just forget the fact that I've made so many crap things in the map, as you can see here. <laughs> this was supposed to be trees. They're not trees. And it is snow. This is a snowy San Pancho. What have I done? I am the Sparrow Virginia. I hope you have enjoyed this. And I'll see you on the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe as always. Bye bye. Thank you for watching everyone, if you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, considering using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one, and remember, stay above the waters.